Hello, my name is Anton Onyala and I want to take you through simple web design using MS Express Web 4. This is one of the best uh, softwares uh, to be used, uh, which you can use to create a website. Remember website uh, development or a, uh, a question on website always come in a Senior 4 UCE is uh, one of the questions and uh, candidates are supposed to do. So I will take you through this number as you can see on the screen here. And it says create a three-page website for your former school saved as primary to include the following information. Uh, you, the site you are going to create ha must have a three, three page, uh, three pages. We have index page, which is home page, and uh, in index page, it has to in include brief historical background of your former school, address, and when you are talking about address, you have to give about uh, the district, village, post office, email. This is now the address where you, 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 your school is found. Uh, in page two, your page two is talking about, will be talking about facilities of the, your former school. And uh, under facilities, you must talk uh, something about library, dormitory, uh, you have to talk about diet, you know, uh, good and balanced diet, among other things. Uh, in page three, you are told to create uh, a gallery where you will have photos, ten of them, about ten. It can be slightly less or slightly above, but uh, having about ten, more than ten, I think uh, it will be a very long one. So I encourage you to use about eight, seven, because as a candidate, you don't have much time to go about giving all those pages because you need to be creative. Some of these page, uh, photos, as you put into your site, they need to have um, a, a caption, some of the captions to know if the children are playing the field, if the head teacher is in the office or the aerial view of your school. So under instructions, you are asked to that your site should have a shared red banner in the three pages. So the banner up there is supposed to be red. Then you have to add a maqui to contain school motto in blue color. Okay, the school motto should be in blue color, but it should have a maqui should not be a paragraph. So you shall be looking on how you can. Uh, turn a paragraph into a maqui. Then we shall, uh, they told you the site should uh, include a horizontal navigation section on each page and ensure that the links are active and um, accurate. So navigation should be horizontal, not vertical. Okay, this navigation should be horizontal, not vertical. And the, these links must be active. Uh, when you talk about resolution, uh, because different screens, uh, there are different sizes of screens. And now when you are making this a site, it must be able to be seen in all screens. So the resolution, they're telling you to have 8 by 600, 800 by 600 pixels. So that even small monitors, you can be able to view items on this. Now, having gone through and understood the question, what the question needs, what you'll do, you'll go to, you'll open your Microsoft, or rather Microsoft Expression Web, which is this one. You open it. Of course, uh, when, if it's a candidate, the school must have installed there, uh, the, the, it must have installed this software. So you realize we have other, other, already a designed software uh, site here. So what I'm going to do, this site I had created earlier, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close that. It is this one. I'm going to delete it so that it doesn't reflect from here. I just want to start from scratch so that they do, it does not reflect there. So it will open. Having opened, it will recognize that it's not there. So this is what you, you have to see when you are opening your blank Microsoft Expression Web 
this is what you have to see now to start your site don't go here don't press here because in uh, in most of the like if you are dealing with the word processor you are dealing with other packages you will realize that for us to get a new one a new document or blank document mostly we go to file and new no for the site you don't go there you click on site here click on site and say new site click on new site this under this dialog box this is a general where you can use this from scratch but this needs uh people who have who knows much about starting from the beginning but for a, a candidate who don't have much time because you are timed you have to use these templates these templates are there many of them okay you look at the way they are now when you are using this template remember in the question there is a place where they told you that uh, uh there is this include horizontal navigation section horizontal not not vertical so when you are choosing this uh templates make sure that your navigation here are horizontal not we have others which are vertical yeah like this can be vertical we have this horizontal we have this which are vertical so i will choose a small business one having chose this you come to location where are you taking your site now when you go to this question they told you create a three page website for your former school and save as primary so what you'll do create a folder before you go to to having gone to before you go to save you must have created the folder let us create here a folder which you shall name it primary okay let us name it primary maybe let us name primary five because there is a time i had used this primary uh so for now let me just save primary but make sure as a candidate you you follow exactly how they told you to name so the folder you will create there where all the elements you are going to use they will go into that folder so you come to the site to site new site uh template i had the cho chosen small business one now you come to browse and choose the folder you had created this uh, primary five and open don't just go there and highlight and no make sure that you open and you after opening that's when again you come here and say open then you come here and say okay so you'll get all these elements coming or going into your your folder that you had created this one initially we created it was empty but now it has all these the all these folders are the same ones which are inside here now we don't want all these folders we are not going to use all of them we are just going to pick some few about three of them but others we delete so you have to control a to select all then you have to leave master don't delete master also we shall leave style and images you leave them but all others you just right click and say delete delete yes to all you delete okay so you are remaining with images style and master master is where you are going to create your the first the beginning part of it how you it will be any images that you'll use it will be those images will be into the image then the style is how the your uh, site will look like now minimize this and go back to the folder primary five that primary you will get this folder called image images now you have to put some photos inside here of course these are photos that came from the other site the default the, the template we had picked so you have to add some photos here and where are you going to get photos remember i'm using windows 7 now windows 7 you'll be able to get photos inside uh here in um, pictures when you click on pictures you'll be able to go to sample pictures and you'll be able to get these 
photos here so i will encourage you just to highlight all of them and copy and paste them in that folder that uh, that folder of images for now you may not be using them you just put them there for the because you need to be organized because as a candidate you don't have much time so everything you do every step you take you need to be organized uh, to save time so with those photos there it will be easier for you just to come and pay, uh, be drag and paste uh, drag and drop where you you want so having done that you double click on this master double click on the master for now we don't want this uh, uh, code for now let us concentrate on design uh, for this code we shall come on to it later that uh, the, the code we shall be dealing with it later where we shall split and see both design and code now uh, you, you remember the site has to have logo you must have a name and it has this navigation you have so let us start with the logo a logo you can create a logo but for now I'm not going to create a logo uh, maybe I'll come in another session to show you how to create a logo so I'm just going to use one of these photos uh, one of this one of these photos to me to which will act as a logo which will act as a logo and I will pick uh, let me see tulips let me pick these tulips put there of course when you drag and place it will ask you to name that picture so I'll just name it pick one I'll give it the name pick one of course you'll see it is here but it's big now how do you uh, resize it you right click on it and go to picture properties and under picture properties you go to appearance and give under width give it 350 350 of course immediately you fill with it height will automatically be adjusted so you say okay and you realize it's still big so you can still reduce uh, go back to picture properties uh, i want it to be around let it be 250 250 and see in case still is big you can continue reducing um still i feel like it is big let me continue reducing until it is something which is uh, give it that mm -hmm. uh, you reduce until you see because you, you don't need your um, your site to be that too big aha uh -huh. that that size is okay now that size is better uh this is now we assume this is our logo actually it's not actually a logo it's a picture but we assume it's a it's a logo because this is where your logo will be located now here you'll have to delete all this and write because according to the question they're asking you to create a uh, save it as primary to include the following index page of course your school your former school it must have a name so that name of your former school is what you will put here so you'll delete all this remove all this and here you put the name of your former school you can just imagine a name it's not a must it be that it must be your former school so for me I will name my former school as Maisha primary school Maisha primary school now you realize that it is very small it cannot be seen properly so for you to see it must be a header so you come here and say heading one okay heading one here you i think that one is okay it can be seen well now i want to change this background okay because they told us remember in the question they said the banner the banner should be red shared red banner which you have to work on this banner so you have to change this uh, the banner this one here you highlight like this where it is now highlighted then you come to this tag property then style here tag property style there is this three dots here where you will click there 
then you come to background then background color choose red because they told you it has to be red choose red okay now having done that you realize that your banner and the text this maisha primary school does not tally because it is almost of the same color it will not be seen by somebody who is a bit far so you have to change and give it a brighter color which is i think white can do with the uh, red background so you highlight that highlight that uh, section there under maisha primary school then you go back to tag property style click those three then here you don't now go to background you come to font then the font color is here you pick white then you say okay so it has changed to maisha primary school white which is seen well i want also this 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 i think i can leave it like that but i can also even change i can also change this to be the same need to this if i wish but uh for now they let me leave like that that uh, that is this is the navigational uh the strip which i just want to leave like that i will just give it uh, what i'll do later i will build this now having done that you have changed your banner red you have put the name of your former school you have put a logo let us look at this sidebar side, side bar. now this sidebar is where we are going to put our motto because they told us that add a marquee to a contain the school motto in a blue color so to my site i feel like i want to put here my motto so this headline i'll delete and i put here motto uh well I'll, I'll do like this but this motto i need it to be in black so it's, when it's still highlighted i'll go to tag property here style check my style here uh font scala i want it black I want it black there then here is where now i'll type my motto and my motto will be uh here i will insert my motto uh where i will put some swahili motto elimu ni mwangaza elimu ni mwangaza uh, this they told you to be uh the motto it's supposed to be in blue blue color so when it's still highlighted like this before you put a makwi because if you put a makwi before changing color it will be very complicated it will be a bit complicated so you change first color before you put a makwi remember they told you to put a makwi on what on motto add a makwi to contain the school motto in blue color so you first change the color okay and to change the color still you will go to tag property style uh those are uh, dots then you check font color choose blue then okay it has changed color if you are keen you will see this p this p here that p stands for paragraph of which we are now to remove the paragraph which is a static text to a moving text that's a makui which will be moving from this side going this side so how do you do that this is now where you you are going to use the codes here okay we have here design is where we are working on then we have split where we will see both the codes these are codes okay for those who know html and those things so we want to split so that you can see the codes and the design so when you highlight this uh, where your mouse is is where you will see uh, on codes you will see somewhere where that um, that uh, motto is and you'll see it is here now when it's here you'll go and remove this p that p in codes and put the word makui makui okay again go to this the closing paragraph remove that paragraph and put makui then you go back to your design so you'll get that that piece not there but if you happen to need it will show you you have it will show you that it has changed to 
emakui. It's not moving yet because it will move when you are now viewing it in the uh, in the browser. So we have dealt with the, 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 the banner, changing the background to red, uh, naming our school Maisha, having this logo, we have the motto, have put Makui. Now let us look at this navigational key, which is horizontal. Uh, they told us in the question, let us come back to the question and say create a three page website. Now, the pages of a website are determined by these things you are seeing here. Home, her, about. Like this, whatever we chose here, it had how many pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pages, which is home, about, news, products, services, calendar, and contacts. So, for us, we don't want all that. We want only three. And the three pages, it must, it is home which is uh, what they call uh, index page, which is home. Then page two is facilities, as you have been told here, include facilities. So we are going to name this about to be facilities. Now, to name properly without any problems, it's better you name using the code. So this way, again, we are going to split to see the code and design. So always this... Uh, um, Navigational are always arranged in a list form. That's how you are seeing them here. So we shall have our home here. Uh, we have um, home here. We can change here to be home. This is our default. This will be home. Then a uh, under this uh, about is where we shall change and we put facilities facilities facilities.html then we have news under news we shall remove uh, this default and we have uh, gallery no in small letters gallery.html Remember to change also this side. You have to change also this side because here this is supposed to be facilities. Uh, here should be gallery, but now start with the capital gallery. Now we have those because in our question they told us shall should have index page that is home page. Page 2 should have facilities, then page 3 should be photo gallery, which you just call gallery. So, you having done that, you can remove the rest, because we have done this, this and this. So, product, services, calendar, contacts, we can remove from this here, you just highlight and remove them. Having removed them, you can click here and you will see it changes. Home, facilities, gallery. Go back to your design. So we have worked on uh, our front page. But um, I want to give this... I want to give this uh, text a bit to be a bit larger. Other than the way they are, they are a bit small. So I will click there and I go to my tag, properties... We have, uh, we, where do I get this? Uh, go here. Uh, where is uh, style? Style here. Style is there. Then you come to font weight. You pick bold. Then OK. Go to uh, facility. The same. Tag properties. Pick style. Uh, where is style? Um, pick style is here. Then pick uh, font weight. Bold. Okay, the same to gallery. For easier, when we shall be viewing it in a, in a web in a browser, that's when you will see how smart it will it will look like when it is like that. Boulder. So having done that, 
you you have finished the part this one you leave that this side because there is a way you are going to work on that later so what you do after the, doing that you save this save that just to save don't save all it will be saved in master page so what you'll do just close this one you can even close this one now then right click on this master then say click on new from dynamic web templates just close this this one will open now this will be untitled untitled one dot html now this is where now you start to create your pages and the first page is home page now what what will the guest you are the guest who are viewing your site will see when they uh, they find to be into they they come into your they come into your website okay so first you can just maybe welcome them say welcome welcome to maisha yeah something like that uh, you can give it a black uh, tag property uh, style you give it black font black color now you as a student or a candidate or whoever is you are working on the site you need to be a bit creative so me i will put a car photo here i will put a car photo here which shows some like it's a school because when you you'll drag and place there when you visit a website you need to see some photos me yeah, i will say pick four just say okay and you see it's a bit big so this one i'll go to picture property appearance then i'll give it a 350 350 size then i'll say okay so you get that eh? it it lies there so when when the visitor comes the first thing we'll say we'll see will be welcome to maisha then we have the photo the the image of maisha school we assume that is a, a photo of maisha then we go back to our question it says now this is under home it says in index page this is now home page include a brief historical background of your former school of which now here you will come and write background back ground being that is a header you'll give it a header you give it black give it a color black then you give you 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 have it now to be here to to tell people the background about your school so for me i'll say maisha primary school maisha primary school was established in 1990 by missionaries by missionaries to help the community access modern education modern education you don't have much time as a, a candidate so you don't need to type a lot so you go to the next next you have now your, your background there next will be the next is uh, address okay where is your school found <clears throat> now address will be location not even address first but the location where is your school found location of which of also it will be a header then the black of course it has picked that so you tell people where is, is your school located Maisha is located in remember the you must be very keen when you are reading instructions because they said district and village so you have to give starting from the village going up maisha is located in uh, i can say amagoro b village uh, tororo district 
Tororo District. Tororo District. Eastern Uganda. Eastern Uganda. So you have finished about location. Somebody looking for Maisha will be able to get Maisha there. Now you go to address. In case somebody wants to reach you through address. Uh, address, you give it a header. Then you come to address. Address, we shall start with postal address. Postal address. Because they, they asked. It was part of this. It is part of this uh, question under here. They tell you postal office box and email address. So you come to postal address. You say P o box maybe 72 tororo then you come email address email address you'll say maisha primary at gmail dot com because it must have show you like this for for you to know really it is an email so you have finished your <clears throat> you have finished your home page because it has a photo somebody can see a photo background location address and the details there so don't leave this because this is showing is a paragraph but it has nothing so by the time you'll be viewing it in a browser something will be written here that put your text here so put it back so that you leave here so that by the time if <clears throat> you you open in a browser this will be the last statement you are seeing but if you happen to do like this it will tell you that you have some <clears throat> some word missing or to be inserted there now having done this you have to save this information as home page so how will you save when you come here save all it will ask you for saving details so here you will remove this default and type there home in small letter in small letters home dot html okay and don't just go to save directly no 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 come here after typing here home.html come to change title click there you will see this now remove this and say home because it is a home page you type there home normally sentence case so you say okay and save Having saved that, you'll realize that you have created your home page here. Home.html, which is here. Uh, go back to your site view. Okay? Right click master. Again. Then new from dynamic web te template. It will open again the same <coughs> the same thing the way it had opened earlier untitled now here you will be creating what you call facilities page you have finished the home page which is here now here you will put facilities now here i will you go back first to the question and see this is page two it says to include facilities the school provides like well-furnished library Spacious dormitory, mention about seven dormitories in this school. A good and balanced that, among other things that you like. <clears throat> so, here, the main heading will be facilities. Facilities. You give it a color, black. Of course, under tagging property, you come to style, and then you pick black facilities then here you put your you can have some introductory statement saying Maisha is proud of spacious spacious and state of art 
facilities such as you do like this and you start with the, what they told you you start mentioning what they they asked you in the question library you put library library the style differs from one person to another this is my style you can have yours on how to arrange the format of this so library of course it will be a header <clears throat> we'll give it black go to style we we'll give it a black color now what are you describing your library your library you have uh, we have we have um, a three capacity 300 capacity library library well stocked well stocked with books with the books with the all kinds all kinds of books and other resource materials resource material to help to help pupils and teachers in research uh, in research okay yeah you can leave at, at that okay in research so uh, next we have finished with library at this time uh, at this place i'm not putting a photo but you can put a photo if you want in case you have a photo of a library in case you are asked and you have been provided with a photo you can put there then we have uh, they have asked about dormitory so you come to dormitory dormitories uh you give it a header of course it's not already in uh, black then dormitory what did they tell you about dormitory they told you to mention about seven dormitories in this school so you say maisha primary or you say at maisha primary because you must be a part the website is part of the school so we say we mostly we don't get out of the school you be part of the school i say at maisha we have seven dormitories dormitories or do, we shall say halls residential halls residential halls of which you can name them we have on kuruma nyerere um we have um Luum. uh matare those are uh, four uh, because they said you, you have said seven you have to give seven have kuruma nyerere Luum have Kenyatta Kenyatta uh, Kenyatta you got oh no no this is uh, Kampala Kampala those are uh, those are already those are already five uh, six so and naivasha 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 which accommodates the boarding our pupils pupils in boarding section Okay, you are finished because that's what they asked in the page two 
facilities. Now, uh, we have something to do with the auction, yeah, uh, diet. Okay, you have also to talk something about diet. Um, give it a header. Our pupils are always fed on balanced balanced diet on daily daily basis so i have something there written there so you have finished your you have talked about is facilities you have library dormitory diet okay maybe you can increase the new of this because this being um, what you can do this can be header too be smaller than the, the the first one can give it header two because it cannot be the same to this if possible give it even header three i don't know if a header yeah this header four it, it will work to be different from the yeah so here it will be, you are talking about facilities, and the facilities are library, dormitory, and diet. If you have photos, well and good, by the way, it will be creativity. So having done that, again, you save this. You save this, just the way we saved the other one, but this will be uh, facilities. Facilities.html. You come to change title, and here it will be facilities facilities of course you say okay and you save so here you have a home you have facilities now we are going to create the last the last page which is um the our last page is page three which is gallery photo gallery and they told us to have about 10 pages so you can have uh, no 10 about 10 photos so you go back to your site view right click on master and new from dynamic web template close all is this then here now we are looking at gallery we are talking about gallery give it a black style uh, font color black okay this is header it's supposed to be header one header one here under gallery this way will be inserting photos so we we'll go to your photo image and we shall just be drag drop drag drop this is pick pick uh things five pick five right click picture property appearance then you give it uh i want it 300 give it 300 of course when it is here you can uh, caption something talk something about it for example you can just say um football football uh, netball and rugby fields okay you again bring another one this is pick seven pick seven you right click picture property uh, appearance uh, it is 300 of course when you change with it height automatically adjusts also uh, here will be aerial view you can give it a uh, aerial aerial view of Maisha primary primary school uh -huh. pick another one drop this will be pick nine just name them then you come to picture property appearance 300 300 done that come here say head teacher head teacher 
or you can say you state with the word madam madam nangoe nangoe margaret in her office madam nangoe margaret the head teacher in her office these are some of the photos you expect to 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 be having them because just to make sure you have answered your question uh, this is uh, for, uh, this is pick, pick 10 right click properties appearance here 300 then you give it uh, pupils or you can say P7 or oh no P5 P5 pupils during debate yeah so I'll not put all of them but that's some of, of them uh, you must put some they told you about about uh, 10 so you can put 7 you can put 8 okay so me I will have I put this one so what to do there is something I'll, I'm going to be going back to our uh, our there is this page master page and uh, this this section here I'll go back to master page and I'll be taking something about this so having put this gallery also save save uh, this is gallery gallery dot html save title gallery gallery say okay and say save so you have saved you have your home facilities gallery um i'm going back to this master page a bit and this footer this is called a footer this section here uh, there is something we had left the way it is but i want to remove all this section here okay and i remain with this one if possible delete that i remain with this one which i want to customize now customizing this uh you will pick the year because copyright art which year this 2020 the year of corona <laughs> Ah, yeah, anyway, this year has made people to be creative, but yeah, it all came with its own challenges, but it has its own benefits. Now, having done that, uh, you have to put company name here, and which company are we talking about here? This is Maisha Primary, so you will name your company here, Maisha Primary, Primary School. So it will be copyright at 2020, Maisha Primary School, all rights reserved. So we can put a full stop here after 2020, so that that will be the footer. So you have to save also that. Say okay. So having done this, you have your, um, you have all this, you have all this. So we can go to our split and see there is something i want to 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 check under this to see if it is okay this is under master under master to see if this home this navigation are they okay okay so we'll go to need to just to make sure they are okay because it's supposed to be home.html facility.html and gallery so that you remove those default and other things so it's it's okay now what you need to know to to do now is to start linking this and the master page to make sure that when you open with the browser there is a smooth link other than when you 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 click on a on a page or in a in a navigational area and you get that they tell you it it skips so to do that you will come having even close to this you can even close this first then you will go and start opening one by one 
open that open that open that okay and open even master now having opened that you'll come to home right click on home and go to hyperlink properties to hyperlink them so that they can move smoothly you go to hyperlink properties now which which one are you hyperlinking to okay this is home when you right click and go to hyperlink properties make sure you pick home which is open home then you say okay then you go to facilities right click facilities here right click hyperlink make sure that it's facilities written here then you pick facilities there not there but here facilities HTML don't pick here pick here open okay then come to come to gallery okay hyperlink gallery pick and hyperlink them having done that having done that you save all say there are three files attached to master does uh, would you like to update say yes okay then now go and open this document in a web browser to see how it is no there is something one one thing that uh, we left out there is something they asked us that adjust the resolution to fit for the small monitor screens of 800 by 600 pixels okay so to increase the font or the size or the font you make sure you are here on master page you go to view then they will page size then you pick this one 800 by 600 maximized okay so after that take go to file and say preview in a browser and i will preview from uh, chrome you leave it to open and there it is so you can get that the, the, you can see this is home page with your marquee motto is here mwangaza ni elimu ni mwangaza it is moving down there here which is your uh, this is a shared banner with my share primary school a motto uh, though i did not adjust unfortunately i did not adjust this uh, uh, the logo because it's supposed to go up to here it's not supposed to need there uh, you can get you can see our photo very well there background location address you come to facilities you have your facilities here library dormitory diet with old gallery your gallery is here you have your photos there you get that whether you are at home okay if you are uh, you are home unfortunately it's keeping there but uh, i think there was some sh small problem when it comes to home but we shall go and adjust there must be something small there but we shall adjust so but these two facilities and galleries are working perfectly there is a problem here but we shall go and so you get that when you are in facilities it is shared banner red gallery shared banner red with all motto this sidebar is also the same now let us look at let us go back and check what is wrong with home because our home is not smooth so we go back to we open our master page and we come here then we check with the split code and see what can be the problem with this there must be something aha uh -huh, the problem is here this http they are not supposed to be there it's supposed to, but it's supposed to be like this high ref and home then like this Is a problem somewhere uh, just um, uh -huh. supposed to be like that those quotation 
quotation must be there these quotations must be there so you save after saving now let us go back and check in our browser and see if it has rectified chrome it must uh, have uh, uh, rectified the problem oh I'm, 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 I had not closed the, 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 the master page you must have closed master page for you to be able to do to view well in Google Chrome let us wait and see what will happen okay we are at home home is there facility home you see now it is okay it is smooth it's going on so this is your your simple you are simple site of Maisha Primary. I do hope you have grasped. But remember to like uh, our subscribe to our channel Itao so that you can get more of these tutorials and we shall be continue putting them more there. I do hope you have got that and I wish you nice time.